God bless you, you great and wonderful people of the Most High God. God bless your hearts real good. All right. This is L.R.L. Dunlap Jr. Coming out to you with the only, I mean the only, uncompromising, unadulterated, infallible <clears throat> word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from his son Jesus Christ who is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father. According to the scripture. For there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. According to the scripture. We greet you all today. All right. Now, don't forget, we're on Facebook and YouTube. YouTube address Robert Dunlap. Go, I, I invite you <laughs> to go on YouTube and you didn't know how to do it. Look at all our video. We may have different, you know, broke up video. Some messages are in four and five parts. A few of them are in ten parts. But we probably have 400 different <laughs> video clips on YouTube. Our God dealing with various religious subjects. Hallelujah. Dealing with the uncompromising word of God. Now, YouTube address Robert Dunlap. Now, <clears throat> Facebook address is LRL Dunlap Jr. Uh, and the question you have on the thing you hear us preach, contact us through Facebook and we will answer every question you have with the Bible. All right. Today I want to give some sound doctrine. You know, you know the word of God is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, exhortation. <laughs> huh? The word of God. So I want to take you to the word of God. You prophets, you can call yourself a prophet. Let me deal with both sides, both. And some of you are prophets. I believe that. But some of you are in, in error because you have no one to teach you. You're in error. You have no uh, pastor to teach you. Your pastor did not teach you correctly. Some of you never had a real pastor. You had a false prophet for a pastor. Or you had a pastor that was in error himself. Some just don't know. Now, and we're going to deal with that. Now, some know the truth. But just like the majority of the prophets that advertise themselves of being a prophet, the majority of them is false prophets. So they cover both. But either way, for you false prophets and you real prophets, that's an error. Let me give you the word of God. Let me give you the word of God. There is no school of prophets. There is no company of prophets. There is no prophetic conference. There is no prophetic sessions. There is no night with the prophet. There is no prophetic revival. None of that is sanctioned and backed up by the word of God. I said none of it. None of it. Now the prophets need to come together and hear the truth and hear the word of God. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to have a conference to get you straight, to straighten you out. But none of that is biblical. I said absolutely none of it. All of it's false. All right. Now you am not doing the truth, Jesus said. You am not, you am not doing the truth. All right, the truth have come. 
The truth is not me, it's the word of God. Now, people talk about the office of a prophet. And what's the office of a prophet? <laughs> you a prophet? Oh yeah. God played prophet in the church. You a prophet? You hold that office? What do that mean? First of all, let's find out what prophecy is. All right. Go to 1 Corinthians. Woo. My God, I feel the power of God. 1 Corinthians 14. And... Twenty, well, fourteen and twenty-four. But if all prophesy, prophets prophesy. You hold off with all prophet, you prophesy. You don't hold off it, but you have the gift of prophecy, you prophesy. Operation is the same for the one that hold off with the prophet, and for the one who don't hold off it, but they have their gift. Huh? But it operate the same way. But the one that hold the office of a prophet is a little different. And I'm going to show you. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to sound it. 1 Corinthians uh, 14, 24, 23. If therefore the whole church come together in one place and, and all speak with tongue, and there come in one that is unlearned, or unbelievers, will not, will they not say you are mad? But if all prophesy, if all prophesy, this is prophecy. And there come in one that believeth not, or one unlearned, he is convinced, convinced of all, and judged of all. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. So falling down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is in you of the truth. He report, you of God. You of God. You are of God. <laughs> because you told something that catches you told something about me that you didn't know and nobody knew but me. You said that. So I know this God. Did nobody know this but me, but God through you revealed it. Oh yeah, you're God. All right. Now, uh, uh, 29, let the prophets, 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 now these won't hold all of the prophets, let the prophets speak two or three and let the other turn. If it, here's our prophecy word, if anything be revealed to another that sitteth by, let him first hold his peace. For ye may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Real prophecy is revealed to you by God something. Huh? Now that's the 